What's up everybody, Prefix Wiz coming back at you with another Unity tutorial, continuing our series with the Unity GUI. Today, we're going to talk about tooltips, part two. In-game tooltips, part two. Let's go ahead and open up Unity. Okay, so here's where we left off last time with the tooltip. If you're not familiar with this tooltip setup, I recommend that you go back and watch the previous tutorial called Tooltip In-Game. I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description. Okay, so let's continue. So the current state of the game is if we were to hit play and come down here to the game objects, if we hover over it, we see that the tooltip is in the upper left where we put it in our GUI canvas. And as well as the red cube, it populates the red cube information, but it also appears in the upper left where we placed it in our canvas. So perhaps this isn't what you're looking for. Perhaps you want the tooltip to be right above, below, left, or right of the cursor. So that's what we're going to do here today. Okay, so to, to make this happen, what we're going to do is create a C-sharp script. Right-click, create C-sharp script. And we're just going to name it tooltip location. Let's go ahead, double-click on it, open it in Mono Develop. Okay, all we're going to do is create two floats, and we'll call it public float x position and public float y position. Then we'll come down here and create an update function. And we're going to create a new vector 2 and put it at the input.mouse positions x and the input.mouse positions y. So at default, since we didn't put anything in here, the values are 0. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go back into Unity. And on the tooltip window, let's go ahead and place this tooltip location script. And as you can see, the two public variables are zero. Okay, so if we were to hit play, the tooltip window should appear right at the cursor's center. Okay, so now in some cases, this may be what you want. In others, most likely not. So following a simple grid chart of a 2D plane, we're going to make the window populate to the top right of the cursor. So we'll put positive 100, positive 100. And let's go back over here to Unity. Let's hit play. And now we should see the tooltip window populate to the top right of the mouse. And it does. And of course, if we wanted it to the bottom left of the cursor, we would do negative 100, negative 100. And we come back over here to the scene view and it'll spawn to the bottom left. All right, so with this basic information, you're able to actually take the tooltip now and spawn it wherever you want, whenever you need the tooltip to spawn. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it brings your project a little bit further to being completed. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And in either case, subscribe.